What's up everybody? It's your boy Norn Rad89 here. Today is just going to be a nice little chill video. We just had the holidays. I hope everybody out there had an awesome Christmas, awesome time with your friends, your family, and whatever you did for the holidays. It was fun times over here. For set. We had a Christmas Eve kind of thing at my house where we opened gifts here and had a bunch of people here. And then Christmas, we actually went to my father-in-law's house and, you know, spent some time over there, watched the football games and everything. I was happy because the Rams won. And then also for Christmas basketball, the Nuggets won later that night. So it was a pretty sweet night for sports for me. So that was exciting. And also we got gifts and everything too, of course. I hope you all got some awesome stuff and whatever you wanted and got for Halloween. I mean, Halloween. Ugh. I'm already in the Halloween mode. See what I mean? Once Christmas is over, I'm already hooked on Halloween already again. <laughs> I got some awesome stuff though, like this right here. I'll show this off right here. This Terminator. Oh man, sweet, sweet pickup right here. My daughter got me this and look at that. Oh, if I could get the glare right so you can see all the pieces and stuff. Yeah. That was a sweet, sweet figure. I was so happy with that one. And then we also got right here, Michael Myers. My other daughter, Sunny, she got me this one right here. This is awesome right here, Michael Myers pop. This is actually my first pop hero of Michael Myers right here. So I was pretty excited about that. To add to with Leatherface, Leatherface has a friend now. And then my wife picked me up this sweet little Pac-Man mug. You see this with the arcade game look on it and everything. I love this, that's freaking sweet. Go mostly in the background, probably, you know what I mean? I love that, like little mugs like that, mugs. Cause sometimes for me, mugs in my house, they always end up broken, like the handle part and it pisses me off. Like I had to rebuy my Jason mug twice cause I needed the handle back, like I missed that. So yeah, to cherish this one, I'm probably gonna keep this one over here, you know what I mean, by my stuff. Also got some sweet gear right here. Look at this, some horror gear, Return of the Living Dead. Got this awesome shirt and then we got some new ones. An anime shirt. I got some Hunter 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 X Hunter right there. Anime fans will know what that's from. And then I got some Batman Batman shirt as well. A new sweet sweet Batman shirt. So it was a really like I said a really fun holiday. The kids made out like bandits. Of course, the kids always make out like bandits. Then I got the sweet Texas Chainsaw Massacre vinyl or flannel vinyl flannel man. I need to wake up this morning. <laughs> but yeah, I love that one. For real, that was sweet. And then, what else did I grab? Oh yeah, movies. We got House of the Devil. This is my favorite Ty West film, so finally I own this movie. I'm so happy to own this piece right here. And I have my House of the Devil shirt from Fright Rags, so I can't wait to watch this in my House of the Devil shirt. It's just going to be, it's going to feel so comfy. Then I got... Clerks 3. This is also going to be kind of a mini review for this movie because I wanted to tackle about it and talk about it. This, I'm not even fucking lying to you, is the most emotional that I've gotten with the movie all year, man. Kevin Smith delivers again. I freaking love Kevin Smith. He's one of my favorite writers and creators in Clerks 3. This was just, it was fucking fabulous for real watching this film. I was like, damn, like I had so many emotions having Randall, Dante, Jay, and Silent Bob back and everything. Even Elias is back in here. So it's a great film, but definitely be ready for a emotionally packed film because Kevin Smith actually came up with the idea for this and wrote this film after he had a life-threatening heart attack. He almost died. And yeah, the script, like it reflects a lot of the pain and anguish that he had to go through and you can tell and stuff like that. And you know how scary it was for the people around him as well and stuff. So yeah, this is a very emotional film but it's amazing clerks 2 is probably still my favorite of the three but this one is probably second and i love clerks the first one as well but this one's probably second and then clerks 2 is my favorite so that's a high recommendation for a film right there that you can check that one out i hope you guys enjoy that one and yeah like i said it was just a nice little fun christmas i hope you guys had awesome stuff definitely in the comments share what you got for christmas and let me know how was your day and everything did you enjoy some sports like i said it was a really good sports day you know the rams had probably their best game all year like it hasn't been the best year season for us you know but after this kind of you know super bowl hangover they've been going through but it's been a lot of injuries and stuff but they had a really really great solid game last yesterday against the Packers and then like I said the Nuggets capped off my night that was my basketball was what I ended my night with so yeah it was very fun holiday weekend and now we're already getting into the new year it's rolling up right around the corner my son's birthday is January 2nd so that's another thing I'm kind of preparing for he wants a 
Pokemon party, so we're going to be doing a bunch of Pokemon stuff, you know, cake and everything and all toys and decorations and stuff like that for Pokemon themes, so I'm excited about that, you know what I mean, my son, he's going to be another year, five years old now, so like I said, the years, they just fly by, so that's why I wanted to do this kind of just chill video, this is just a relaxed video, like I said, going over the gifts and kind of just telling you all to enjoy it. Enjoy this time with your family. I know another year passed and it's not the greatest year, you know, 2022 for a lot of people. There's a lot of stuff that happened, but we did make it. We made it through and now on to 2023. 23, like I said, if I could talk this morning, now on to 2023 and see what that year has in store for us. Like, I'm excited, man. Like I said, I'm at that age now where I just like, I used to be a lot more like pessimistic and a lot more glasses half empty, kind of like when I was a kid, you know what I mean? And a teenager, kind of those angsty teenage years to the early 20s. I was kind of always like that. Now that, like I said, I'm 33, going on 34 next year. So it's like this, I'm kind of at that point in my life where I just enjoy even the littlest things, you know what I mean? The smallest things, even when I go to the fridge and it's like, yo, dude, I didn't even know we had that. And I scored some, I don't know awesome jam that I didn't know we had still to make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know, anything, small little things like that. But you also got to enjoy the big things in life too. Like I said, your kids growing up, all the things they're going to be doing and stuff and your family members. And you know, if you got kids, your dogs, cats, of course, the, the animal pets family, they're just as much as your kids too. So like I said, this is just a kind of chill, awesome video saying thank you to all of you out there as well too, my supporters and subscribers like I appreciate every single one of you and this is an amazing thing because this YouTube channel I had no idea that it would take off or be what it is today and it's kind of just evolved over time like I really didn't even have like a set set plan of where I wanted this to go it's just kind of organically evolved and grown and I'm happy and like I said another year coming up on us and Thanks for sticking around with me all for this video. And like I said, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all did for the holidays and how much fun did you have and what did you score for the holidays, you know what I mean? As gifts, I would love to hear from all of you. But most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.